So as you can see, these are all the bags and stuff that I took out of the cabinet. And this is the extra, the extra um, stuff that wouldn't fit in a container. So I just stick that down here, which is where I have extra juices and paper towels and tissues and my lights that go into my cabinet that weren't installed and some Lazy Susans and a fruit bowl that I want to put in, up here on the island once everything gets done. But yep, that's it. Then on the other side, it's just where I have a couple more containers, some refills for soap and this detergent and um, some towels for cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that. And then under there, I have some DIY stuff that I want to utilize and do with you guys. So that's it. But I got space. I just got to organize it and get it right. All right. So that's what it looks like. Nice and neat. On top of them, I have labels, so I won't forget, guys. I have an awesome DIY on labeling that you don't need chalk paint, you don't need a chalk pen, you don't need none of the above, and it is bomb. It's with stuff that you probably got in your house, and they're going to be so beautiful. So I'm going to be sharing that with you because I'm going to be making labels for all of these, and that's what the top looks like. I don't have a whole bunch of canned goods at this time. I know that I did pack a lot when I moved, so I don't know how much that's going to fill. Up, but I do know that I did give away a lot as well but I wanted to keep it nice and clean like that because we shop weekly so this would be extra stuff that we know we can use if my kids want some soup and then when things go on sale I grab like more than one of stuff that I know we eat on a regular or eat often so up top I already have canisters for those pastas the long pastas and the lasagna pastas I'm getting ready to get a canister like one of these to put my um, tea bags in. That's the tea that we make that stays in the refrigerator. We make green tea as our iced tea in the refrigerator. So that's what it looks like. And this is just the beginning of me trying to organize this cabinet. And I have a lot of, uh, well, I do have um, a lot of things to organize, especially this cabinet. This cabinet has gotten so much more stuff. Um, it's just all over the place. So I definitely want to organize that as well. But you guys will be going on this journey with me because once you're going through, it's kind of like, hmm, I don't like that there. Oh, this doesn't fit or this is not working. Like that was a basket for baking goods, but we're going to see. I know I'm going to probably switch that out because I don't even like the way that looks. But for now, my cookie cutters and stuff are in there until I decide what I want to do. This cabinet here holds all my big, big, um, junk. Oh, excuse me, my big jars of items that I refilled these little jars up with. So I didn't have enough and I still got other stuff that I want to put in containers. So I went to the store and bought more containers. I think I got five of these, four of these, a couple of these little random ones that pile up on each other, and these ones here, and then these big, bigger ones here. I know they're not the color of my kitchen, as I said before, but I like the clear look versus boxes. It looks better than all them colorful boxes that's all over. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you when I'm done. And then on that side as well. I felt it was only necessary to go from square one. And after that, I decided after removing everything, let's move the shelves and see where I want them to be. One of those shelves gave me some problems and I had to see if my hubby could come in and help me fix this. But he got it down like I wanted it and then all I did was start putting everything back in. It's going to be trial and error guys. You're going to move, change, put stuff in different containers, take stuff out one cabinet, put it in the other, but this is a journey and you guys are going to go on it with me till I get it right. Please forgive me guys, I am trying to get my baked goods together and figure out which container I want to use. I did not have a clue that my camera was not focused on the actual cabinet so you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it so please forgive me. So guys, I'm going to be putting all this stuff back inside of here and as I said it's going to be trial and error. But I end up with something that I think I'm happy with. I have my rices up at the top. I have my sauces, my tea, my cornstarch, and then my baked goods in the corner. But I also have all my other items. I have extra containers that I will definitely be utilizing. Why? Because I love these containers and I know I'm going to find something to do with them. So I am not going to be taking them back. I got a random box of Mac, but... We are happy with what we got so far, guys. What you guys think about it? It's going to be trial and error. I know I might change it again, but for now, it is looking good to me. 
Guys, as you can see, my kitchen was a disaster trying to organize these cabinets. Listen, if you are not a part of my family and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do you see that before? And do you see what I did by using Dollar Tree containers for the after? If you did and you like it, thumbs up. Remember, stick to your script because you are the best at it.